Well, what's going on guys? My name is Josh and welcome back to another video and today I was given some homework to do over spring break. Um, I actually asked for it and um, yeah, uh, it's basically just graphing parabola. It's pretty easy. Um, so yeah, uh, we're gonna do We're gonna graph this, 4x, uh, 4x squared. So to do this, what we need to do, we need to make an x and f of x table. Then we have to just plug in each of these x values for x. So let's do the first one first. So four times negative two squared. Uh, two to the negative two power is Two to the power of two is four. So it's just gonna be four times four, which is 16. So it's gonna be negative two comma 16. Now we can plug in our negative one for x. So it's gonna be four times negative one squared. So this is gonna be Negative one to the second power uh, to the power of two is just positive one, so it's going to be four. And then this is just going to be zero because anything tends to the zero. And then these are actually just going to be the same. Since each of these are two ticks, we're just going to do half of this, so it's, it's just going to be. Um, you have to go up 16, and then this is gonna be two. So it's gonna be about right there, something like that. Then we're gonna do that. God, my lines are terrible. I, uh, I have never been able to draw a straight line. I can't draw a straight line for the life of me. Nope, terrible. Okay, but we have our graph, so I'm just going to put this on my paper. Alright, so we're going to do y equals, or okay, we're just going to use x. Uh, we're just going to use f of x, because I find that easier. So f of x equals x squared. Oh, this is going to be really easy. So we have x and our f of x. So let's just plug in one, uh, negative two, negative one, zero, one, and two. This is just gonna be, since x squared, it's just gonna be negative two squared is four, negative one squared is just one, zero, one, four. Okay, that was really easy. Okay, so it's gonna be one, negative one. So we're gonna do one, negative one, about right there. And then we're gonna do two comma four, so that's gonna be um, one half, one, two, three, four. Okay, so it's up here. Um, so it's just gonna be about right there. So it's going to be right about there. Okay, so we're going to graph these. Okay, so we have grafted our parab graphed it, gra we have graphed our parabola. So now I'm just going to put this on this piece of paper. I grafted that. That was easy. That might have just been the easiest one, actually. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, well, I'm done with my homework for now, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of, like, sim very simple integration. We're gonna do, like, 
I don't know, maybe let's do um, the integral from 2 to 10 of x plus 8 dx. We're going to do that because why not? So this is, pretty, this is pretty easy actually. So all we need to do, we need to split our integrals first. So this is going to be an integral from 2 to 10 of x dx plus the integral of 2 to 10 of 8 dx. And now we can solve these, so the integral with respect to x and the integral with respect to x is just going to be 1 half x squared evaluated from 2 to 10 plus the integral from 2 to 10 of 8 dx. Okay, so all we have to do right here is just do 1 half times x squared, which is going to be uh, 10 squared plus 1 half times, or 8, sorry, 8 times 10 minus one-half times two squared plus eight times two. So now all we have to do here is just simplify. So it's just gonna be one-half times, one times 10 squared. 10 squared is 100, so that means 100 divided by two is 50. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna write it as 100 divided by two plus eight times 10 minus one half times two squared plus eight times two. Then I'm gonna do 50 plus 80, so I'm just gonna simplify that. Eight times 10 is 80. We can remove this parenthesis. Minus one half times two squared plus eight times two. 50 plus 80 is 130 minus one half times two squared plus eight times two. Now we can simplify this. So one half times two squared is just gonna be four over two plus eight times two, and then 130. Uh, that's just gonna be two plus eight times two, 130. Oh crap, I forgot to add my minus signs. Okay, uh, then 130, uh, eight times two is 16, so it's just gonna be two plus 16, 130 minus 18, I'm just gonna rewrite that, so it's gonna be 130 minus, uh, 18, and it's gonna be two, so now 10 minus eight is two, two minus one is one, and then one. So our answer is 112, and uh, yeah. There we go. That's just a little simple integral. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for today. I really mostly just posted this because I was out of content and I didn't know what to do. Um, I don't really play games that much anymore. I mostly do math now because I'm kind of more motivated towards like school. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please comment down below what I should do next. Uh, also, feel free to subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.